Hello. What's up, dudes? I'm getting ready to go fish. That sounded a lot cooler in my head. So, like I said, I am getting ready to go fish and I thought I would just bring you guys along because, hey, why not? Um, just give you a quick little overview of what I'm going to be taking with me. So this is what I'm going to be taking with me. I have two pocket... Um, boxes full of things what is the word tackle boxes boxes full of tackle um and then i've got some little worms don't smell them they smell and then a pair of pliers that i borrowed from my dad until i get my own pair <laughs> pocket knife a glove and it's not really good for protecting my hands necessarily it's just a lot easier to grip the fish with you know fabric instead of skin and I'm also taking my BB gun just because it is fun to fire. And I do carry everything in a Walmart bag just because I don't have anything better right now. And so I keep the BB gun in two separate pieces just for safety. Um, and then I'll be taking my hat and a bottle of water. And I will be taking a cup of tea just because um, it's tea. It's Texas. And... Um, those two things really go together. <laughs> Sweet tea, mind you. Unsweet tea is like Satan. Okay, it's not that bad, but it's pretty bad. Of course, that's just an opinion, but you know. since I ended that video, I um, realized that I forgot, you know, the most important piece, which um, would be the rod. Um, yeah, I'm taking that. So, I'm getting loaded in the car, and I realized, as I was pouring my tea a moment ago, that uh, a lot of you are probably wondering why I'm taking a bottle of water and tea. Well, here they are. If you know me, or if you've ever eaten around me, then you tend to notice that I almost always have two drinks with me. One water and one flavored, so I can switch between the two. I made it. In one piece. Yes, I know how to drive. Alright, let me just go fishing. of all the rain, I guess. Cold front, I don't know, it's windy, it's chilly. I don't like it, but I'm gonna fish anyway. Should've brought a jacket. But you know, I was almost sweating yesterday. I really didn't think it'd make this big of a difference, but it's Texas, what do you expect? baby that I gotta go home and get a jacket because I'm cold. Call me nuts, call me, you know, whatever. I got a horse staring at me. Quite a pretty horse, actually. So, that's what I'm doing right now because it feels, now it's warm in this car. That's just warm, 
windows down. There are so many like potholes out here. I gotta drive like five miles an hour not to break the car. And I didn't want to break down my fishing rod. So I just left it in one piece, stuck it in the back and it's halfway in the back, halfway in the front <laughs> of the car. But you know, whatever. Came back to get a jacket and uh, turns out my stepmom wanted a car so that she could go run some errands in town and just take a shortcut because who cares? Nobody's around to tell me that I can't. I don't know that I can't get through it because I haven't gone through here since I was like 11, maybe 12. But you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Update! If I hadn't have just stopped the video, you would have seen me walk through a huge um, spider web. You know, this doesn't look like the safest place to be. I just need to get right there. That's it. Right there. What if it'd be easier for me to, oh my gosh. I have not been back here in years. That's, uh, yeah, that's pretty bad. Maybe I can cross like right here. There's nobody living in that house right now, so. Nope, that doesn't look any easier. I'm just trying to find like the best way to cross without, you know, dying. This looks like the best way right here. Just walking through slowly. Watching out for the snakes. You know, I'm not really worried about them because I played down here for years years and never saw one I mean not to say that there aren't any here but I'm just saying that I'm not worried about you know running into any all right I'll tell you right now this isn't gonna be easy better now I have a clear path from here down here and up there no problemo uh, safely say that I succeeded. Booyah! I have gotten some nibbles. Oh, that went the wrong way, dude. Um, 
so far I've gotten some nibbles and uh, I've just about caught a couple um, but I ain't too soon I try and set it too soon too early um, and I just snag it out of their mouth so I'm gonna try a little bit longer it looks like some of them are still coming up to the surface okay it's pretty dark I don't even know if you could see me or not right now but uh, I'm just walking home almost home didn't catch anything kind of disappointed it'll be okay okay bye so I would love to be able to get up and go uh, fishing early in the mornings but I don't have the willpower to get up early enough <laughs> when I'm alone and I've been trying to really relax and cut it back catch up on sleep so I don't know if that's gonna happen for a while but um, I'll probably be out fishing a lot um, I might go out and shoot my BB gun or um, practice some archery tomorrow I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow but uh, yeah conclusion to my wonderful fishing video <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Used to be the like the best camp out spot in the history of ever. Like it used to be amazing.